Hello my book loving friends and welcome back to Storytime with Mary. This is where we get to read all of our favourite books and if you're loving reading along with Mary don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time. Okay book lovers it's almost Easter! I'm so excited I hope you're excited too. So in honour of Easter, we're going to read a book about bunny rabbits, of course. Today, we are reading a really special book called Sebastian Takes a Bath. This book is written by Antoinette Cameron. So if you've got Sebastian Takes a Bath at home, grab it now and let's read it together. And while you're grabbing your hoppy book, I want to tell you a fun fact about our friends, the bunny rabbits. I want to actually tell you about their long ears. So book lovers, bunnies have really long ears, but they're not just for listening. Actually, bunnies ears are really, really, really important to a rabbit because they help them regulate their body temperature. So when they get really, really hot, they have blood vessels in their ears that swell up and it helps them to cool down. And when it's cold, those blood vessels they contract again. That means they get smaller and that makes, helps them to warm up their bodies. So book lovers, I bet you didn't know that bunnies ears were so important to them. Okay, if you've grabbed your book, Sebastian takes a bath. Let's get hopping and see what Sebastian gets up to in this book, shall we? It's a nice summer day on the 25th of June and Sebastian Bunny has woken up to a tune, a tune of singing and dancing around. Such a happy, happy sound. Greeting his mummy, he hopped on a chair. Sebastian could smell playtime in the air. Sebastian ate lots of jam on top of his toast because he loved orange jam the most. Sebastian, let's play, his friend called to him. They could slide on slides and run and swim. They could make castles out of sand or pretend to be explorers in a new land. Sebastian, let's go, his friends called once more. And Sebastian hoppity hopped for the door. For now, it was time to play. Play under the sun the whole, whole day. And play they did under the hot sun. They played for hours until playtime was done. Sebastian's mum called from the door. It's time to stop. It's nearly four. But I don't want to, Sebastian said. He was having fun with Daisy and Fred and there was still so much to do. They were now pretend pirates, he and his crew. He got dirty from playing a little too much, from leaping, hopping and crawling and such. But Sebastian knew he had to go. There was a warm bath and bubbles to blow. Go home, he did, at half past four, with dirt and grass trailing the floor. It's time for a bath, his mum said. Then it's dinner time for you, and then your bed. Sebastian had fun playing in the tub. He blew lots of bubbles and used a scrub. He also played with his yellow duck along with his red toy truck. He played a couple of minutes more until his mum knocked on the bathroom door. It's time to stop and time to eat. Because you've been a good boy, I have a treat. After he ate, he hopped in his sheets of blue. Max, his teddy, was beside him too. He had lots of fun in the afternoon, even if bedtime came too soon. And now he was clean and his fur was all white. It was great to feel fresh at night. Bath time was the highlight of his day. It was great to smell nice after hours of play. We love Sebastian's story of his wonderful bath after playing in all the dirt and mud. And book lovers, 
Do you remember why Sebastian has those really long ears? They're not just so that he can hear everything that his mummy says. It's to help him cool down when it's hot or warm up when it's cold. So book lovers, just go and impress your friends with that fun fact today. And if you enjoyed our book as much as we did, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together again next time. Okay, book lovers, see you again next time and have a happy Easter. Bye.